All right, so let's talk about the curriculum and what this course covers. This course is quite large, uh, both in terms of hours, but also just in terms of the number of topics we cover. But they're all pretty essential. They all fit together, and it's all structured in a, a very deliberate way. So here's just a rundown of some of the key topics. Uh, the course covers a lot more than this, but these are some of the most important topics. So we start by understanding how the web works, the internet, getting our de uh, developer environment set up, and then we talk about HTML. And we start understanding the very basics, HTML5, uh, all the latest in semantic HTML. We talk about accessibility. Then we move on to CSS and styling our web pages, where we, we learn a lot of new modern CSS. Uh, we cover things like Flexbox and layouts, uh, CSS animations, responsive design, media queries. Uh, we talk about CSS frameworks. I introduce different frameworks, including Bootstrap, uh, another called Bulma. Then we talk about JavaScript. And this is really a big turning point in the course, where we spend a lot more time going very deep into JavaScript. For a lot of students, it's their very first time learning a programming language. So we cover all of the basics uh, and all of the latest in JavaScript syntax. So if you've heard the terms like ES6, ES7, or ES2016, 17, 18, all of that stuff is covered in this course. So let, const, arrow functions, async, await, uh, promises, spread, destructuring. If none of that means anything to you, just ignore it. <laughs> but we do cover that in this course. Uh, we also talk about uh, DOM manipulation and how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript connect. We talk about asynchronous JavaScript, the pitfalls of async.js, but also the benefits potentially. We cover AJAX and making requests, working with third-party APIs. Then we start talking a bit about the back end. I introduce uh, the terminal and different Unix commands. We talk about Node, a lot about Node uh, and NPM. We work with a, a web framework called Express and we start building servers and full web apps. Uh, we talk about templating and building RESTful APIs, routing, databases. Uh, we talk a bit about SQL versus NoSQL databases. We focus on MongoDB. We cover common security issues, uh, cross-site scripting, SQL injection. Uh, we talk about deploying applications and working with cloud databases. I show you how to implement authentication from scratch. So we really dive into the concepts around uh, cookies and sessions, hashing functions. We talk about password salting. And then we focus on some fancier features like uh, adding geocoding and mapping, cluster maps. I should show you something on the screen right now so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, image upload. So there's a lot in this course. And then there are topics like schema design and design patterns for JavaScript. Uh, we talk about you know best practices as a developer, building a developer mindset, understanding how to get help, how to Google, um, how to research things and find answers to things you don't know. So it's exhausting just telling you all these topics. It's a lot. Now imagine having to record all of that. Oh, that was quite the undertaking. So maybe you're feeling overwhelmed by the volume of topics and uh, maybe none of them make sense. Maybe you're very excited to get started. Either way, I promise, we start from the very, very beginning. You don't need to know anything coming into this other than you know how to use your computer. With all that said, yes, this course covers lots of fancy modern technologies and tools and languages. But all that really matters, like the real takeaways from this course uh, that I focus on the most are learning how to learn new frameworks, languages, libraries, uh, learning how to think like an engineer, learning how to ask questions or find answers to your questions online, how to unstuck yourself, how to build applications from scratch, and just how to become fluent in the world of web development. Those are the really important pieces of the curriculum. Uh, and unfortunately, those are the pieces that you, know, you can't pick up in a matter of five minutes or an hour of video. They really take the entire course to sink in. So that's a brief overview of the crazy curriculum for this course.